what's going on YouTube, CJ here with The Trading Collective, an education-based community of traders. Today we're going to be talking about how to pick an entry for a position, specifically what you're looking for on a chart, or what I like to look for on a chart before I enter a position. Uh, we're going to be talking about one side of it today. Um, this can be talked about and talked about and talked about. I'm going to be talking about um, just support and resistance level entry and I'm going to show you kind of what that looks like and we're going to talk a little bit about moving averages as well if you guys haven't already please smash that like button stay subscribed and hit that bell icon and uh, without further ado we're going to roll right into it so here we're looking at Nvidia um, 15 minute chart we're going to lay down some support and resistance lines real quick. If you don't know what this is, we have a video available in the top left that you can go check out. I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but we're going to throw down some support and resistance levels. Uh, yeah, we'll do right about here. So we'll say, boom, support, boom, resistance. We'll say, uh, we'll say this right here, because this was tested one, two, three, four times. I like that. Okay, so we've got three lines down so far here on the 15 minute. I'm also gonna grab a ray line tool. We're gonna grab the magnet as well. We're gonna shoot out some trend lines here. This is a, and we're gonna grab, I think I, I, I like this wick here. I like that wick um, because it gives me this cross right here with the 200 day. Okay, so real quick, break down the 200 day moving average is a yellow line, 50 day moving average is the orange line and the blue line is our VWAP. And uh, now you've seen me make these white trend lines and then these pink support and resistance lines. Okay, so you want to the the idea behind trading really is to buy support and sell out a resistance, or that should be anybody's game plan really. Um, trading whether you're trading long term or short term, buy support, sell resistances. If you're a bullish trader, if you're a bearish trader and you like to short stocks, you buy resistances and sell at supports. Uh, typically that's what you sort of see now there's other indicators that we can be using with this such as MACD which we have a video on um, or RSI which we have a video on but we're gonna be talking about just moving averages sport and resistances so right here we're seeing a one two three four bottom so any point that we're seeing this be broken on the upside that's typically a good bullish sign for entry um, if you're not already in and you already have a determined ceiling for the next resistance. So I would have been waiting uh, until I'm seeing a nice dip down and, gulf and then an engulfing green candle. So good times to have entered would have been here, dip down, big green engulfing candle, Okay, I didn't like this too much. You know, price actions, we're seeing some good rejection of the support level, that's good. Here's another green engulfing. That's a really good time to get in. And then you're seeing another one right here as well. And then you're seeing us get over this resistance level here. Now you're seeing a lot of conviction come through here at the market open on the 11th of June. and. I would have still probably have sold this resistance level, but I would have marked it as my target one. My T1 would have been this resistance level. I would have held a little bit more for T2, which would have been this next resistance level. And then T3 could have been a little bit percentage wise if you had a T3 uh, above this resistance line because we hadn't been above it yet. So we're looking at this being our possible entry spots. What we're looking for here is green engulfing candles uh, after smaller maybe red dojis or a red hammer this is a red hammer right here this looks like our one of our best entry points right here right around this area would have been fantastic now we would have said 
our T1 would be this pink line here. T1. And then this would have been T2 for us. T2. And this right here would have been our entry. And that's kind of how you're looking and, and, and picking uh, your entry positions. Um, but I'm going to show you another thing. Um, and, and also your exits with T1, T2. Now right here, we're seeing something pretty interesting. And this is just on the 15 minute. We could break down the 5 minute, okay? And you know, actually, we're going to do that really quickly. We're going to break down the 5 minute. And I want to show you guys right here. So right here we're seeing this is a big this is a big cross right here. So when you're seeing this orange line go below this yellow line, that's a 50 day going below the 200 day. That is called a death cross. Now that's a very um, morbid sounding phrase, but it's what it's called. So you don't want to trade if you're a bullish trader during this time. You want to wait for these uh, moving average lines to cross back the. 50 back over the 200 day so right here is called a golden cross so the idea here is to not trade in a downtrend don't trade in a downtrend that's got to be one of the biggest biggest pieces of advice that i could possibly give anyone that's you know getting into trading or has been a long-term trader just don't trade in a downtrend if you're a bullish trader don't do it well, that's it, guys, for the most part. If you guys enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.